All right, so now I'm going to get the video off and I'm just going to put it on the desktop. Should be this one. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I just dragged that onto the desktop because that's the easiest place to put it whenever you're doing this kind of stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's And you can crop it and stuff. Yeah, so now we're going to get media from files or folders and then go to desktop there it is. And so now I'm going to drag his the video clip and put it there. Is this where you turn it? Hold on, I'm going to turn you flip it? Yeah, I'm going to yeah, turn it. She's going up south. <laughs> <and she's laughs> so, yeah, it, it's just the way I recorded it. And all you all you do here is you hit... Um, I flip it so it looks like I'm upside down. Oh, you want to be upside down? Yeah, that would be kind of cool. Okay, yes, I can do that too. You all know what I'm saying? Yeah. See, so right here, you right click on the video, and then you can rotate like this. So he wants to be upside okay. down. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah. Okay, so notice, notice when I flipped it, it cut off the edges. Well, see, what we'll do is you um, click on the actual video up here and see how the, the thing that popped up. Yeah, and you go to the side and you shrink it like that. Oh, to get it all over. Uh huh. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. That is really cool. Now his hand so now we can make you as little or as big as we want to make you. Okay. So now, and it really doesn't matter. I know you see like the black on the sides, and you might worry about that, but that doesn't matter because you're going to be erasing your whole background anyways with the um. Yeah, and I'm gonna instead of doing cr uh, green screen on this one, I'm going to do chroma key. Because I'm going to pick up the actual specific color. It's easier that way. So now I'm going to drag that as an effect onto the video. So then you're going to hit, see where this shows up now? Mm -hmm. This is all the, these are all the effects that we've applied to this video. Mm -hmm. And they'll all pop up here if you add a bunch of stuff to it. So anyways, I'm going to click that and then hit edit effects down here. And then here's the color. Right now it's picking up white oh. as your color. So we want to change that. So I click on that. And then I'm going to do that. Then you do similarity, and it picks up all the similar green color. So that's how it works. And see, but you can you can go too far, and it starts erasing him. Yeah. See, the green reflection. Oh, I see, because he reflects the green a little bit. Right. Okay. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna put it about right there. And the cool thing about this program is, um, you notice there's still some green left. But what I do is um, on the effects, I add another chroma key effect on top of it. Mm -hmm. So now I have two here, and I'm going to hit edit effects. So we've got that one, and here's our other one. And, and I'm going to pick up, that yeah, that's my little trick oh, that I do. Okay. But then sometimes, like I said, you, you end up taken away from the person sometimes when that happens. Here we go. Oh, so <laughs> that's how it works. And you can do that as many times as you want to get rid of the oh, shadows okay. if you have shadow option. But you know, a lot of problems with that. But you just got to be careful not to erase the person. Uh, so when I start moving, though, will it continue to get... Oh, open? yeah. It'll... Now I'm going to render what I was talking about earlier. See how this little... There's like a little red bar right mm -hmm. there? That That's your work area. And whenever I render that, render work area, that will turn green. That That red bar will turn green. So it takes a little while to do this, but it helps. I feel like, w as far as Adobe Premiere goes with green screen, there's more options than on the iMovie. Okay. But um, iMovie is simpler and easier to understand, in my opinion. But um, you can, I don't know, you can, you can tweak it more on this program. Okay. So here's the video of you. And I can't hear any sound. <laughs> okay, so there's your video. So now what we want to do is go find the background. Um, I was, I was going to show you all the, the website that I was telling you about. <laughs> there's actually two websites. There's stockfootageforfree.com. I'm going to go... 
to the main page, which there's not a whole lot on this website, but it's still fun if you're just kind of messing around with which what is what we're doing right now. So here's start browsing. And here's all your different little stock videos. So what what are we going to do? I forgot. We're going to... All right. So now I'm going to get media again from files or folders. And trees. Okay, now I'll make you smaller. <laughs> um, okay, now this is whenever I kind of kind of mess with it because I've never done this before, so I don't know if it'll exactly animate how we want it to. Let's see. Yeah, I guess it does it. Okay. So, here, we're going to... I know you were laughing the whole time. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to render the work area real quick, and we'll see how it looks. Okay, that's where it's actually layering them together. Now, now we've already layered it. This just renders it, so it makes the playback viewer um, smoother. Yeah, pretty much. That's it. Yeah. And I was going to show y'all one more thing: um, the different music that uh, Adobe okay. Premiere comes with. That there's this cool option you can do that um, you can put in the length of your video, and it'll make a song that fits to the length of your video. It's cool. I'll show you. Hey, let's, that. If I, if, let's say that you, you take it. But you got other audio you want to put over it. Can you layer Look it? Look at this. It's in slow motion. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Now to add the music that I was telling you about, you'd hit this little speaker button and then go to smart sound. So I hit smart sound and then wait for that to come up. Okay. So now let's click here. First, you want, what you want to do is where it says click here to select music. And here's all your stuff you can choose from. Um, and what I like to do is just do the style, like, you know, classic, funk, new age. Can you get rid of the sound that had uh, just some sound effects? Oh yeah, you could do just sound effects too. Yeah, that would be that would be a perfect one. Which which we can do that, but I was gonna just show y'all real quick yeah. how to do this. We don't have to add these, but let's say like y'all tell me one to pick out of these. Like which one? Rock. rock? Where is it? Oh there it is. Okay. So I hit rock and here's the three different songs that are rock sounding and you can listen to them like some of them are kind of corny, but <laughs> and then there's no, which we we don't have to get one to go. For <laughs> I just was going to show you. So let's say we picked that one for some reason. So I hit select. Now I can cha change the length right here. So let's say our video is at six seconds. So we'll do six seconds. And there's variations you can do right here. Like, here's the drums version. And then here's the so long version. <coughs> it's a little bit different. And see, it, it does it planning just... <laughs> but, um, yeah, you can, you can loop it too. Or you can just make it the length of your video. So, and on other songs, you usually have more variations than this. I don't know why there's only two, but anyways. So I'd hit OK. And then it saves an actual video clip right here. So we'll just hit Save. And then it put it down there.